While working on the STM32 and THT11 based temperature and humidity monitoring system, I faced an issue that was my THT11 sensor was giving me 255 values for both the temperature and humidity. I fixed this issue by replacing the DHT11 library. Seriously, I searched for hours and finally I found the correct DHT11 library which works perfectly with the STM32 microcontroller board. You can download this library from my website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. It's just a beginner's level project and the purpose of this tutorial is to help you guys how to program the STM32 microcontroller board using the Arduino IDE. So basically in this tutorial you are going to learn two things. The first one is how to use the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor with the STM32 and the second one is how to use an I2C supported OLED display module with the STM32 controller board. The type of the OLED display module I'm using is the SSD1306 which I have been using with the Arduino, ESP8266 and ESP32 controller boards. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. A 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected between the VDD and data pin of the DHT11 temperature and humidity module. The VDD pin is connected to 3.3 volt pin of the STM32 microcontroller board. The data pin of the DHT11 sensor is connected to PA2 analog pin of the STM32 controller board and the ground pin of the DHT11 sensor is connected to the ground pin of the STM32 microcontroller board. The SSD1306 or LED display module power supply pins are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the STM32 microcontroller board. The SCL and SDA pins of the OLED display module are connected with the B6 and B7 pins of the STM32 microcontroller board. B6 is the SCL and B7 is the SDA. I connected the OLED display module and the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor as per the circuit diagram. In order to program the STM32 microcontroller board using the Arduino IDE, first you will need to flash the boot loader and you will also need to install the STM32 board and some drivers. I have a very detailed tutorial on this and I highly recommend you should watch this tutorial. I will provide a link in the description. Now let's take a look at the programming. This program I wrote for the Arduino which also works with the STM32 microcontroller board. I made a few changes. I added the STM32 version of the SSD1306 library and I also changed this DHT library. You can download this library from my website electronicclinic.com. Finally, I changed the pin number to which the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor is connected and the rest of the programming is exactly the same. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.